Hey everybody, welcome to Divine Conversations. My name is Eric, thank you so much for joining me. If you are new to the channel, hey there, it's very nice to meet you. And if you're returning, welcome back guys. Welcome to your July monthly readings. Hey, July, all right, we're in the middle of the summer guys, it's great. I hope you're enjoying yourselves. Happy birthday to all the Cancers out there. Um, I, this is, today is what? Today is the 8th of July. So we are still in Cancer season. So I hope you guys are all enjoying your birthdays, uh, your birthday season. And to all the Leos out there, your birthdays are coming up. So I'll say happy birthday to you guys now, but we'll get to that next month, yeah? Um, so I did something a little bit differently this time. I wanted to get into the energies first before I started reading for them. I'm not so keen personally on forecasting, on fortune telling. I tell people all the time I am not a fortune teller, okay? I'm more about um, understanding the current energies and bringing clarity to them to help you you know, make the best decision for yourself moving forward. So that's why I waited a little bit before um, I release I put out the, the July monthlies. Also, if you're seeing some smoke, don't worry about it. <laughs> My apartment's not on fire. <laughs> I'm just burning some sage, yeah? Um, let's see, anything else? These are general readings, okay? So take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. Um, if you would like a personal reading, I am very much available for that. You can go ahead and email me. All of the information is in the description box below. Um, num, 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 num. I think that's it. So what I'm doing with this, the readings this month, I am using the Golden Universal Tarot for the, you know, the general message. And then I'm also getting Oracle Guidance from the Unicorns and the Crystal Mandala deck. And uh, when it comes to the Crystal Mandala deck, I am um, focusing it on, yes, bringing the message forward, but also putting forth the intention that the, whatever crystal comes out, if you feel uh, guided to purchase that crystal so that you can work with it, I highly recommend that you do so. Yes, 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 that's always a fun thing to do. And yeah, I believe that is it for now. So let's get into the reading, yeah? Yay! Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading for the month of July. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let's get to it, shall we? All right. Hey spirit, please bring forward, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, let me, let, me, let me try that again. Okay. Hey spirit, please make me a clear channel for all Pisces, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. Please bring forward the best messages for Pisces for the month of July, and please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Thank you so much, spirit. I'm seeing kind of a sherbet color around you guys, Pisces. Yellow, orange, and pink. So there's emotional healing that's going on right now, which is giving way to illumination, um, which is giving way to strengthening of the willpower. Um, and it's all being orchestrated by unconditional love, Pisces. Well, that's very nice. <laughs> this could be divine unconditional love. This could also be the love of a partner, or the love of a mate, a soulmate, twin flame, divine partner. I do feel like it's coming from someone else outside of you, like someone that's in your circle, Pisces. For those of you that are connecting with this part of the message. All right, last shuffle. And now let's cut the deck. All right, overall energy. Okay, we've got the Four of Cups. Um. All right. So with those colors I was seeing, uh, I feel like Pisces, you may have given an offer out that was rejected. 
And now the divine is coming in with some triage for you in the form of unconditional love and acceptance. Mm -hmm. That's for some of you. We've got the moon in reverse. Ooh, and then we've got the five of cups. And then we've got the seven of wands. Someone's having to defend themselves. Defend an action. But I just heard defend a wrong turn. Either you, Pisces, or someone around you. Now, I, is the moon your card, Pisces? I think so. But the moon is about the moon in reverse is about secrets coming to light. And I feel like with this offer, someone got really defensive. The truth came out here somehow. Unrequited love with the Four of Cups, regret and remorse with the Five of Cups. But there are still two cups behind this guy on the Five. So let's get into the storyline here and see what we got. We've got the devil in reverse, okay? Release of a codependent toxic relationship. There probably was a breakup here. But I feel like, Pisces, you are the one that's removing yourself from the situation. I feel like, and now this doesn't have to be you, Pisces, this could be the other person. But whoever is removing themselves from the situation, they were taken for granted. And they may have really thought that there was a good thing here, which is why the Five of Cups is here now, because there's, I'm feeling a lot of regret and remorse. However... With the moon in reverse, someone realized that this was just a toxic relationship, a codependent toxic relationship. The devil is with the nine of pentacles. So someone is standing on their own two feet now. Now that they have been released from the shackles of the devil or this toxic relationship. Moving forward. Ah, the empress. Fertility, um, abundance. Yeah, could be the Divine Feminine with, ooh, the Eight of Swords in reverse. All right, so look, uh, whoever is moving on from this toxic situation, they don't feel trapped anymore. Why? Because the moon, the secrets came out. Truth came to light. Secrets were revealed. And while, yeah, there's going to be a period of remorse, ultimately, whoever this is understands that they were taken for granted. And they're not going to put up with it anymore. Because they don't need to. I'm a grown woman. I could do whatever I want. Nine of Pentacles. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Moving forward. Ooh, the Ten of Cups in reverse. Okay. I just heard this was not emotional fulfillment. It was a charade. A charade, y'all. Lies with the Ace of Swords. Lies, deceit, deception. Yeah, someone was not truthful. But you see, all of that came out with the moon in reverse. Yeesh. Moving forward, we have, yeah, the Ace of Cups in reverse with the Fool in reverse. So what I'm picking up here is someone's not playing the Fool anymore. Someone is not giving, going to continue to give or doesn't want to start over with somebody else. You could be dealing with a Capricorn, guys, because we have the Devil here. But other than that... Someone is done with this devil energy, is done with this codependent, toxic relationship. 
This doesn't have to be a romantic relationship. This could be a financial relationship. This could be a friendship. Like a business relationship is what I mean by a financial. But yeah, a financial relationship, business relationship, friendship. But what the Empress is, is, um, is saying here is there is fertile ground for rebirth. Okay, so you don't have to worry about that. Moving forward, we have Six of Pentacles. I take it there was an imbalance with, between, with uh, give and take here, as this falls right underneath the devil, with whoop, injustice. Justice is reversed. Someone was giving too much. Most likely this person that is now walking away. Or, or, or removing themselves from the situation. This grown woman here with the Nine of Pentacles. Now, this could be... Uh, it, does, it doesn't have to be a woman. This could be... It could symbolize anybody. But this is symbolizing the person that's removing themselves from the toxicity of this situation. Because ultimately they were giving too much and receiving little if not... If not little to nothing in return. Okay. Moving forward, we have, ooh, the Emperor. Counterparts, guys, falling right underneath the Empress. Both are upright. With, whoa, the Queen of Swords in reverse. Wow. Well, for some cases, here's your toxic here's your toxic situation, your toxicity. There was an emperor energy, maybe a divine masculine, maybe an Aries. That was dealing with a toxic relationship with a queen of swords in reverse. Manipulative, arrogant, spiteful, rude, angry, deceitful. We have the Emperor and the Empress right next to each other. Or I mean like right one above the other. Like that's intense. So if we're talking Twin Flames, the Divine Feminine in this situation is no longer in a mental prison. And the Divine Masculine in this situation is realizing that if he's with a karmic partner, she's no good. She's no good. <laughs> All right, moving forward. We've got the Five of Swords. So yeah, we've got a hell of a lot of conflict here, but that makes perfect sense, doesn't it? With all the stuff we've been talking about. Five of Swords with the Queen of Wands in reverse. Mm. There was self-sabotaging behavior on behalf of a feminine energy. Potentially. Yeah. Or the need to one-up someone. Mm-hmm. Acting out of... Uh, 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 Acting with Five of Swords energy out of um, negatively aspected Queen of Wands energy. Egotistical. Egoic. Um, greedy. Again, spiteful, I just heard. Finally, we have the Ten of Wands. Yeah, burdens. Burdens that need to be released. With, oof, Eight of Pentacles. Yep. So stop working towards these things that are keeping you trapped in burden. Pisces, don't do it. It ain't worth it. You're working towards something that's only just, I want to say is only holding you back. All right, let's get into the Oracle Guidance here from the Unicorns for you, Pisces. Mm. 
Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. There we go. Action. Now is the perfect time to act. Take inspired action towards your dreams. Move forward with confidence. Yes, move forward with confidence because you are an independent person. You can separate yourself from this devil energy. You don't have to be taken for granted. It's going to suck for a little bit. Yeah, you got the five of cups here, but ultimately you will be better off if you just let go and move on. All right? And next, let's get into the Crystal Mandala Guidance. All righty. Whoop, there it is. Right there. We got, yes, Ascended Master Helios and Citrine, your time to shine. Now, I believe this also came out with the Aquarius video too. So you might want to check that out. But here we go. There it is. Damn, I turned right to it. Holy shit. <laughs> All right. We bring you the blessing of your time to shine. On the divine path, you gain empowerment through surrender and alignment with divine consciousness greater than your own. As you choose to surrender into higher consciousness through prayer and intention, you are held in a field of divine protection. You also gain strength, wisdom, and understanding. You release fear and gain love's power. You become increasingly radiant, discovering more of your own divine identity. At some point on your path, whilst this is happening for you on the inner planes, you will be ready to perform a similar function on the outer planes in the world of forms. This is when you will be asked to bravely shine your light to help those in need, perhaps lost or in darkness of some sort, in the physical world. Don't take any more of that crap, guys. Like, don't, don't dim your shine because someone wants to control you. It's not worth it. So if you want to pick up some citrine uh, to work with it for the month, I highly recommend it. But there you have it, Pisces. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. And I look forward to connecting with you guys again in August. Yeah? Take care. Mwah. Bye.